Well, right now I'm particularly interested in educational issues. And I'm particularly concerned about the kinds of variety of curriculum that's available for students in our local school systems. And so I would say education is probably the key um, thing that I'm interested in right now. Today, the most important issue in my life are the women's issues, those which we are currently involved in in everyday living. I feel that as women, we do need to be more informed and uh, to take part in these issues in a meaningful way. I really feel that the daycare, the health care problem, uh, adequate coverage, equal opportunity in the workplace are vital issues that are facing us and that we do need to understand and promote a better understanding to others of our positions in these areas. The most important issue in my life right now is the environmental issue. I'm especially concerned about the toxic waste cleanup days and the implications for household hazardous waste. Would like to see people use more alternative household cleaning products. Today I think the most important issue in my life is the groundwater control and the drug situation. One of the most important issues in my life is uh, the development of opportunities, economic opportunities in the community. Um, this provides jobs for people so that they can um, support themselves and aren't, don't need to rely on agencies to provide health care, family care, and those sorts of things. public policy education and leadership development program. It's targeted toward women, uh, women as emerging leaders, although we certainly don't want to exclude men from the program. The goal of the program is to try to help individuals develop skills so that they can get involved at the local level in decision making that focuses on family issues. Just for example, some of the issues that they might get involved in are child care, health care for the elderly, uh, substance abuse, quality education, food safety kinds of issues, or environmental issues. The Family Community Leadership Program is a train-the-trainer program. We use a mentoring approach where we team paid professionals with volunteer professionals, and then their challenge, once they've received the training, is to go back to their community and train others in the concepts that they learned. Uh, these teams can be anywhere from two individuals all the way to six, eight, ten. We, in one county we do have a team of about six individuals and they pair up uh, depending on the requests that they receive. The training is 30 hours of intensive training in six key concept areas. Those areas include leadership and communication, working with groups, issue analysis and resolution, community affairs and public policy, working with volunteers, and teaching others. Once the individuals are trained, then they agree to a payback of 12 days over the next year after they have, have actually received the training. They go back to their communities and they train others in any or all of these concept areas. Just let me give you an example. The Lynn County FCL educator team has planned a public policy workshop and they are really focusing on the public policy issue analysis process. They might help the participants define the problem or issue, look at some alternative solutions, and then look at some of the consequences of each of those solutions before uh, arriving at an actual action plan. They have um, chosen to focus in on three areas, child care, environmental issues, and health care for the elderly. So in essence, what they have done is taken one of those six key concept areas and focused a day workshop on that topic for the uh, residents of Cedar Rapids and surrounding areas. We have seven co-sponsoring organizations for the FCL program in addition to the Cooperative Extension. 
And for this particular Lynn County workshop, the AAUW, or American Association of University Women, was involved, the League of Women Voters, and also the Farm Bureau Women. In addition to those three organizations, the other co-sponsoring organizations for the program include the Department of Elder Affairs, the Iowa Agro Women, the Iowa Organization for Women for Agriculture, and also the Cedar Rapids YWCA. To date, we have 126 FCL educators. 123 of those are women, and three of those are men. And I might also add that the majority, or two-thirds of them, are volunteer professionals, and the remainder are paid professionals, or for the most part, extension staff members. Before the grant money runs out or terminates within the next year, we hope to conduct two additional training sessions um, and with that, our goal is to try to train an additional 80 to 100 individuals. And I might add that the grant monies that we have from Kellogg um, help reimburse volunteers for any dependent care expenses that they might have. And this could be for child care or it could be for care for an older person, an aging parent. I would encourage interested individuals to contact their county extension office for more information and to find out how they might apply for the training. They could talk to any of the extension staff members, but the county home economists would probably be most familiar with the program. The FCL leadership program has helped my life by helping me uh, become more aware of the issues surrounding us and also helping me to help other women deal more effectively with these issues. It's afforded me the opportunity to understand how public policy has developed and to be able to have impact on that if, that if that's what I choose to do. Right now I have been choosing the role of educator in public policy. The FCL program has had a tremendous effect on my life. But first of all, it's given me an opportunity to work with volunteers and, and to see their development in the leadership area. In addition, I've had an opportunity to work with many community organizations and groups that otherwise I wouldn't have had the opportunity to work with. The FCL program has affected my life um, more than I thought it would. At first I said, no, I can't do that. However, I did go ahead and I found myself doing things that were not easy but beneficial to me. I hope others too. The tools that were given to us, I won't forget the big notebook that was given to us. In fact, it was so heavy, I weighed it when I got home, eight and a half pounds. And it is full of all kinds of information. A person could go on almost for years uh, finding things in there that would help different organizations and groups. The FCL program has helped me know how to affect change in a community, how to deal with some community problems, and how to make a difference.